How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now for today's review we are going to take a look at the Cerberus Fortis from ASUS. Uh, if you don't know what the Cerberus is, that is ASUS's new, more affordable range of gaming gear, peripherals and then also stuff like graphics cards. So we're going to take a look at the Fortis, see how it performs and if it's worth a buying. So with all of that being said, let's jump into today's review of the Cerberus Fortis right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get the best deals on all the latest gaming products? Well, Rebeltech is the best place to check out. They have a huge variety of peripherals, PC components, laptops, and just everything else you would need. So go check out rebeltech.co.za to get the products you are looking for at a low price. So starting off, the Fortis is retailing for around 700 Rand on Rebeltech here in South Africa or $60. Now I couldn't find it on Amazon or Newegg, so I'm not exactly sure if it's available in the US. Uh, the $60 is just what I got when it was actually launched. But now taking a look at the design of the Fortis, you get an ambidextrous shape with a smooth curve towards the back. The body is mostly plastic, but underneath the mouse you do get a magnesium alloy base which does add more weight, but also helps distribute the weight evenly over the mouse for more balanced tracking. It does cause the mouse to weigh a bit more at about 119 grams, uh, but it does give it a nice and sturdy build. Style wise you get a mostly grey finish with an RGB Cerberus logo on the palm rest and then also a lighting strip along the back underside of the mouse. Moving to the left side you get a slight curve towards the back for your thumb that is pretty comfortable. Also most of the sides are textured plastic for your grip and it does do a good enough job at keeping your grip from slipping. You'll also get two thumb buttons that is nicely positioned and easy enough to press. Uh, it doesn't stand out too much and it's very easily to feel which is which. Uh, they are pre-programmed to forwards and backwards, so if you wanted to change them, you will need to go download third-party programs, but otherwise you can just reprogram your key commands in your game. As for the right side, because it is ambidextrous mouse, it's going to be exactly the same as the left, except there's no buttons. Because of this design, you don't really get the most comfortable finger placement. I kind of had to push my pinky more inward to the mouse, which was a bit more uncomfortable for me. But if you do like the shape of ambidextrous mice, then this is not going to be a problem for you. The Fortis also comes out with Omrom switches with a snappy response, a good travel distance and then also of course that lifespan of over 50 million clicks. For the scroll wheel it has a pretty standard scroll to it not being too heavy or loud. It does have a textured rubber grip and then also it is illuminated so nothing really different here. Just behind the scroll wheel you get the DPI selection switch that lets you cycle through the four DPI levels ranging from 500 to 4000 each with their own set of colors so you do know on which DPI level you're on by just looking at the colors. But here's also just a quick sound test of how all of the Fortis's buttons sound. Now then as for the cable, the Fortis has a 1.8 meter or 5.9 feet braided cable with just a standard USB connection at the end. For the software, you don't need any, everything is done on the Fortis itself. You can change between four different effects with multiple colors and then also change the effect speed of the breathing and color cycle effect directly on the mouse just by pressing some of the buttons in combination. But now taking a look underneath the Fortis, you get five small glide pads, four in the corners and then one around the sensor that does deliver a nice smooth glide. 
Unfortunately, ASUS did not specify which sensor the Forces is using, but it does look like it's using a Pixar ADNS 3050 optical sensor, which does have a max DPI of 4000 and a max problem rate of 1000 Hertz. But now as for how this optical sensor performs, it is good, but it does have one major flaw. Accuracy wise, it was very good. I was able to get plenty of kills in CSGO with a no sensor rollout, doing quick flicks, and it was also able to handle the slow, more precise shots as well. But now the one thing that made me mess up most of my shots was the lift off distance. I was actually able to put a four DVDs underneath the mouse and it was still able to track, which is honestly way too high. I personally plan on a lower DPI, which makes me lift up my mouse quite a bit when gaming and just that slight lift up movement would throw my accuracy off. Now, if you do play on a massive mouse pad or on a higher DPI level, then it might not be as bad for you, but for me, it was a bit too much. So now in conclusion, what is my thoughts of the Cerberus Forces from ASUS? Now, it's not the best mouse out there, but it is still a good mouse with a good build quality. Relatively good tracking if you don't lift up your mouse a lot. Uh, I did play counters of uh, CSGO matches and I did enjoy my time playing. Uh, I'm just not a fan of the ambidextrous design, but that goes for most mice because you do sacrifice a bit on your right side if you are a right-handed user. Uh, and then also just that lift off distance was way too high for me, honestly. Again, that's small for me. If you play on a higher DPI, it's not going to be a problem for you if you don't lift off your mouse. But for me, it wasn't the greatest. If it was between one and two DVDs, then it would have been perfect, but four was just a bit too high. But honestly, around 700 grand or what, $60, I can't complain too much. It's still a very good mouse. And especially if you want to go for an ASUS build, especially the Cerberus build, then the Fortis is going to be a very nice addition. And I would still recommend it uh, if you can just look past that lift off distance. But now that's pretty much it for my review of the Cerberus Forces from ASUS. Uh, if you guys did like this uh, review, please like, share, subscribe and comment like always. Also, if you guys want me to review anything else, let me know down in the comments below. And also a big thanks to ASUS South Africa for sending over the Forces for this review. But now with all of that, I do hope you guys enjoyed it and I will check all of you guys in the next video. So, cheers guys.